What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Connor Speed 6 and today as you can see we are back in F1 2021. Today we're going to be checking out an all new update uh, that Codemasters and EA gave us uh, for the game and that is the Portimao circuit in beautiful uh, Portimao, Portugal. Now this track is located in one of the most beautiful regions on the planet. Uh, so it is a, a well-loved area and has lots and lots of history. The country has a whole lot of history uh, in F1 and racing with some of the, the biggest F1 legends in history racing. Now, finally, we have Portimao Grand Prix Circuit in F1 2021, and it is very exciting. It is one of the most challenging tracks I think uh, I've, I've driven on in the game to date. Uh, for me personally, a lot of, uh, uh, I'm not really sure, flowing corners into to tight braking zones and things like that. It, it seems to be a lot for my brain sometimes with the speed these cars can go, but it's a ton of fun. I've put in about 10 laps so far and I'm loving it. Uh, as you can see, I'm in the McLaren. Uh, we are celebrating Danny Rick's win for McLaren uh, last weekend at the Temple of Speed uh, in Monza, Italy. So uh, big congrats to Daniel and everyone at McLaren. Big win. Uh, very interesting race all around from start to finish. Uh, now, hey, as you can see, I've got some swag. I'm running uh, the new Puma uh, race gloves sent to me by everyone at Codemasters and EA for being in the Racing Ahead and Game Changers program. Something else that I did get that you may have seen uh, on my Twitter is uh, this here, a hard copy of F1 2021, the game on Xbox. Now, I will be doing a giveaway for this game beginning next Monday, September 20th. So what I want you to do is head over to my Twitter and uh, I will be announcing that next Monday with a link uh, and some details on how to enter uh, to get your name drawn for a physical copy of F1 2021. Uh, so head over there right now, give me a follow, uh, and while you're at it, be sure to leave a like on this video, drop me a comment down below, and if you're new to my channel, subscribe for more weekly content like this. So what we're gonna do is really just uh, kind of jump in and take a few laps around here and see how I do, and just kind of talk about it a little bit. Uh, have you guys ran this track yet? If so, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, again, it's very difficult and very technical, but I'm absolutely loving it so far. Forgot to mention this amazing podium hat uh, sent to me by uh, everyone at Codemasters and EA as well in the box. Uh, it was a massive surprise uh, to see that delivery come. Not expecting it, but extremely thrilled to have it. So big thank you again uh, to everyone at uh, Codemasters and EA. It's, it's, a, it's a big, big thing for me to get some, some swag like this for the first time, so I really appreciate it, honestly. Thank you. Okay, so let's jump in here. We're gonna just do a flying lap here real quick, uh, sort of scout out the, the track and sort of talk about it. So the very last corner, uh, I'm not sure the corner numbers or names, I'm, I'm sorry for that. Uh, big, big, big long sweeper into the massive straight. Now my fast time so far is a 120. 0.595. Now again, I'm not super familiar with the track or the layout or your know, braking points. We all know that braking zones are sort of uh, recommendations, uh, especially for people who are really, really good at the game uh, and very familiar with the routes or tracks themselves. Sorry. One thing that I do absolutely love about this truck, while hating at the same time, are hairpins. There, there are like three or four hairpins on one lap of this track, and it's. It's amazing, but holy crap, it's really difficult. Whoops, uh, missing turn in points. That's just the story of my uh, practicing so far on this track is missing breaking points and turn ins. But very, very fun. We're gonna try to go for a nice flyer here. This is one of those sort of flowing corners into a uh, breaking zone, which are always really difficult and technical. But again, that's what makes tracks really, really fun. Whoops, put it in the first gear on accident. Another very difficult corner. So this car is suffering from major understeer. I've not done any changes or tuning or anything like that or downloaded a tune. Uh, this is just as the car comes in game. So let's go for a quick flyer here. Uh, see if I can compete with my time. All right, let's see here. Very easy to go off track right there. Oh, missed the turn in. Missed the braking and the turning, really. Oh, piss off. Oh, I'm telling you, man, these hairpins are so difficult. Especially on getting the power down without spinning the car out. 
Very difficult quarter there too. Uh, missed the turn in on that one. So it's not going super hot for me so far. Already a half second down basically on my time. A lot better through there than I was recently. Felt smoother. Gained a tenth or so. I'm going to keep it in third gear just so I don't spin out. I'm absolutely loving these Puma racing gloves. Never thought I would want a pair of racing gloves, uh, but I see why people use them all the time. Again, not doing so great, but hey, let's see if I can do any better this lap. Short shift a little bit out of there. Ah, damn it, I missed my turn in. How did I not get my uh, lap time invalidated there? Uh, turned in too early. So that last lap was utter garbage. So we're going to move on uh, to another here. All right, come on now, Connor. Just a master class of a circuit, I swear. Again, one of the most beautiful regions of the planet. Ooh, I thought I cut that a little bit too too tight there on the apex. Alright. Ah. Short shift because I was about to rotate the back end around way too much. Downshift and then sort of coast into the corner a little bit, so a lift and coast type scenario. Uh, for me, that's working best. Kind of the same there, but of course, as you see, I cut. Apparently so. I am not smooth on this game at all. So I think I may... Oh, no. I may end up being a little bit faster on this lap, but... Yep. Ah, damn, a little bit faster, however... Uh, not, of course, super clean because my lap was invalidated. Oh, God. All right, so let's go for another flyer. See if I can put in maybe a clean lap faster than my 120.595. I really am just kind of garbage at this game. But damn it, it's fun. I wish I was comfortable enough to play this without braking line and things like that, uh, but man, it's just so difficult for me to get used to, especially on the wheel. Okay, feeling a little better this lap. Let's not uh, ruin it. You know, I don't even have the actual lap memorized. Like, I keep forgetting which corner's coming up next. Come on, baby. One minute twenty point three six eight. I'm still not even out of the. I'm still not even in the top two thousand in the world. Uh, on this, wow! Holy crap! I don't even know what to say. Holy crap! That's uh, again. This is an amazing circuit. It's ridiculously fun, but damn it, it's really difficult to get right. I am going to put some more practice in, of course, and, and turn some laps in traffic with, you know, like GP mode, for example. Uh, to see if I can get a little bit better. Because the longer I run this, of course, the, the more likely I'm going to be to run it faster because I'm just going to learn the track, you know, learn where I can just, you know, sort of lift uh, rather than braking so hard and things like that. And um, where I can run wide, where I can cut a little bit more than, than normal. Uh, but yeah, damn it, it's, it's fun. Again, absolutely beautiful track and beautiful track layout. Uh, and again, huge congratulations to Daniel Ricardo for winning. Uh, and McLaren, the Monza GP. That was that was an awesome sight to see. As a Red Bull fan, uh, I was 
a bit disheartened, of course, um, but it was overall a great race weekend. Uh, luckily, Lewis Hamilton's okay. Uh, could have been really bad, but uh, overall, fantastic race weekend. Again, a huge thank you to Codemasters and EA uh, for sending me this swag box. I can't wait to get you guys a copy of the, the, the physical game copy for Xbox. So again, head over to Twitter. Uh, I will release uh, the information on that giveaway next Friday. For now, though, if you want uh, a copy of F1 2021 for PC, my friend Merganator uh, has a giveaway going on as well over on Twitter. So uh, I will have a link to his Twitter down below. Actually, no, I'll have a link to his Twitter post uh, for the giveaway down below. Uh, so go ahead, first of all, follow him, subscribe to his YouTube channel and uh, enter for a chance to win F1 2021 on PC from him and look for my giveaway next Monday. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it for me. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, please be sure to leave a like, a positive comment down below and be sure to subscribe for more weekly content like this. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Until next time, I'm Connor Speed Six. Much love, everyone. See you soon.